While the custom dial system is really simple and easy to use, we still get some questions about it. So we're gonna run through some of those questions. One question we get is, do I have to chronograph my ammo to give you the muzzle velocity? And while we do recommend you do that because the more accurate information you give us, the more accurate the dial is gonna be, if you don't have access to a chronograph, you can use the information on the ammo box, give us that muzzle velocity, and it's gonna be great for most hunting situations. One of the pieces of information that we need when we're making your custom dial is about the environment that you're gonna be in. So that's the temperature and the elevation. So the rule of thumb for the temperature is plus or minus 20 degrees. So if I cut a dial for 40 degrees, I'm good up to 60, good down to 20. On the elevation, it's 2,000 feet. So if I make a dial for 2,000 feet, I'm gonna be good all the way up to four and then all the way down to sea level. Now, if you're gonna go hunt in a situation where you might be at 8,000 feet, you know, or above that even, you may wanna think about cutting a new dial with that different environmentals on there. The custom dial system is made specifically to your ammo. So one question we get is, can I use another type of ammo with a dial? And the answer is no. Again, it is matched specifically to that ammo. But if you do wanna change ammo, you can absolutely order another dial. So you got your new scope with the custom dial system and you got it all mounted up and now you wanna get your custom dial. So one question we get is, do I have to take that scope off, send it back and get the dial put on? And the answer is no. Actually, it's really easy. There's just three set screws on the dial. So when you get your new custom dial in the mail, you just pop off that MOA dial, put on the custom one, and you're good to go. When sighting in your rifle scope, we actually recommend removing the elevation dial. It's super simple. All you have to do is loosen the three set screws around the top, pull the dial off, finish your sighting in procedure, and once you're zeroed, you're just going to set that custom dial on the turret. You're going to index it until the zero mark aligns uh, with the index mark on the main tube, and you're going to tighten the three set screws back down around the edge. So you have your custom dial system installed on your scope now, and you might be wondering how it actually works in the field, but it's super simple. The numbers on the side of the dial just correspond to yardages. So if I range something that's 350 yards away, I just turn it to the 3.5. If I wanna shoot 500 yards away, I just turn it to the five and I'm using the center of the reticle for this. This does all the elevation corrections for me on the dial. If I have to go back to 200 yards, I just turn to the number two, shoot dead on, use that reticle, and I'm gonna hit. So you got everything squared away on your rifle, you're out of the range, and you really wanna test the capabilities of this custom dial system. We get asked how far you can go with each dial, but that's dependent on the caliber that it's for. So this is a 6.5 Creedmoor. This dial specifically goes out to 1,100 yards. If you're shooting a round that has a flatter trajectory, you're gonna get more yardage on the dial. But we've been out here all week with these, shooting past 1,000 yards and hitting steel with no problem. <laughs>